and you're weightless the whole time, which is, is so much fun. And you get so used to it. And when you come home, you're so disappointed be because everyone's stuck to the floor again. And you have to work just to pick your own arm up. You get so used to weightlessness where you can just touch the wall and, and, and do a thousand somersaults. Or, or you can take your a smarty and throw it at the wall and it'll bounce off the wall and come straight back into your mouth. Or, or you, can, uh, you can move thousand pound things around just with your fingertips because everything's floating up there weightless with you. It's tremendously fun to be weightless. Um, but it changes how your body functions. Your bodies are designed to work with gravity. The blood is pushed to your feet and your heart squeezes it to your head. And if you take away gravity, your heart's going to keep squeezing the blood up to your head, doing its best, but gravity doesn't push your blood down to your feet anymore, so your head's going to inflate bigger and bigger and bigger like this. That's our commander normally, and that's how he looked after one day in space with a big fat head. <laughs> and it, it's actually, it's pretty unpleasant. You have a pounding sinus headache and you can't taste your food. And, but your body is a, is a pretty amazing, uh, adaptive, uh, evolving machine. And it starts to immediately recognize that you don't need so much fluid in your body. Your bone structure starts changing, your balance system changes, and you start changing from an earthling into a spaceling just right away. And within a few days, you've really started to adapt. And there's changes happen all over. Your, uh, your balance system shuts down because you don't have gravity telling you which way's up, and you become totally based on what you see. Your uh, blood pressure system doesn't have to fight gravity. So how your body regulates blood pressure is different. Uh, you lose the calluses in the bottom of your feet because you never walk. It, it's just a whole different set of rules. And you lose your skeleton because you don't need to fight gravity. You don't need the bones that provide the structure to stand up, like a building with all the girders in it. You don't need your girders anymore. And so you start to lose your skeleton. And if we don't exercise really hard against resistive equipment two hours a day, we get osteoporosis just like uh, a lot of older Canadians have, really badly. So we were learning ways to fight osteoporosis because of the experiments we do in space. <laughs>